Put these nine champions in a room. Who's coming out alive? Oh, look at us. We're doing a little bit different here than the usual kind of characters like Superman, Spider-Man, etc. We got John Jones, Tom Aspinall, Alex Pereira, Drikas Duplessis, Leon Edwards, which should be removed and put Balan Muhammad instead, Islam Makachev, Ilya Toporia, Sean O'Malley, and Alexandra Pantoja. Now, the answer to me is pretty clear and that most people should pick, if not all. And that's John Bones Jones. And I've seen the videos of people saying, oh, Dana White's glazed. John Jones, which I'll get into that later. Credit to the account that posted this, but I find it funny that people were commenting this fighter out of all of them. Tom Aspinall. Dana White, John Jones, smart people, Tom Aspinall. John Jones is the most glazed MMA fighter of all time. It's clearly Aspinall. <laughs> The audacity you have to see Aspinall over John Jones is ridiculous. Out of these nine champions, Tom Aspinall is the only one who's not a real champion. Intern champ! And you have the audacity to pick him because he's beat a couple names recently and that he's got a lot of hype acting like every single new fighter that comes up to the rankings saying that, oh, is this going to be the new guy to beat John Jones? Is this going to be the guy? And then after John Jones beats them all, every single time who has the most title defenses in UFC history, have you not learned? yet you're like oh oh sorry okay well i'll just wait for the next new fighter to come up and then i'll say it's him and then fail again and again and again john jones was gone for three years he comes back to fight serial gun who's bigger than him and people had their doubts yet finishes him in the first round easy and y'all still not picking him and you also have the audacity to call someone picking the greatest fighter ever who has the most title defenses his his only loss was a dq glazing when it should be the other way around when you pick someone who clearly isn't on his level that you shouldn't be picking. It's fine if you don't like John Jones. It's fine if you want someone to finally beat him like Tom and that you like Tom and want him to beat him if they face each other. But when someone like Dana White or anyone else says that Jones is the best and would pick him, that is not glazing. Name a UFC fighter who's had a better career than John Jones. Huh? Huh? Are you trying to let us know that you started watching UFC last week? You're glazing, Tom. I should see more comments of Alex Pereira over Tom. Even I saw a comment saying Drake is too plessy. He beat Robert Whitaker, Sean Strickland, and now the Stylebender a couple days ago. Yeah, that's more valid than Tom. But I understand there are weight classes for a reason. So usually the heavier ones are the ones that are going to get picked more to have the higher advantage. And even if we're talking about in their prime, John Jones is still the answer. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.